Heller, Aki Clips Cutting Expert, and I'm here with Erica, our Corporate Marketing Specialist. And we are here to show you what we've been whipping up and introduce you to the Go Oven Mitt Die. Now, Pam and I, we are bursting with ideas for this new project die, and we can't wait to show you how easy it is to use. That's right, we're both in love with this new die. I mean, who doesn't need an oven mitt or two or three, right? right? Plus, they're really fun and super easy to make. That's right. We've been cooking up so many ideas for these. I think we should get started and take a look at the die. All right. So here it is. There we go. It's on a 10 by 24 die board. So it will work in our Go, our Go mm -hmm. Big, or Studio Cutter with the appropriate adapter. Don't forget, quilters, you're going to need a 10 by 24 cutting mat to cut the oven mitt shape. That's right. And here we've got our finished oven mitt. Okay, this is Pam, so Pam, cute. Pam will model. This is so cute. All right, now each side of the oven mitt is three layers. We've got our outer layer. In this case, it's our red floral. Right. Then we've got insole bright lining. And this is a special lining and that is going to keep your hand from getting burned because that's the important part, right? Right. It's heat resistance mm -hmm. and you can purchase mm -hmm. it on our website. That's right. That's right. Because we want standard batting, you're just going to get burned, right? right? And then, of course, we've got our lining. Okay. So the insole bright is made of polyester fibers that right. are woven through a metallized polyester film that's going to, like you said, reflect the heat or cold back to the source. It's going to keep you from getting burned, and that's the whole idea. Right. All right, so shall we get started? We should. All right, All I'll right. move this out of the way. So the first step is actually to rough cut two pieces of fabric, your outer fabric and a lining. I've just used plain white here. Okay. And your piece of insole bright. Right. So we've gone ahead and we've got those two. Now, you put it together a little differently because what you want to do is make two little quilt sandwiches. Okay. Okay. And then cut it out on your die. So again, we've got our outer lining, we've got our insole bright in there, and then we've got our inside lining. Okay. okay? Now, you can pin them together or base them together and then you want to quilt them. Now, you don't have to do a ton of quilting on it. No. But you want enough so that your layers stick together. So I did some slanted lines, and I marked them with some painter's tape. OK. And then just sewed those. And so now they're both ready to cut. Excellent. Now, once both of those sandwiches are quilted, you can go ahead and cut out both right. sides of the oven mitt. Now, here's our pro tip. Mm -hmm. If you're using different fabrics for the outer layer and the lining, be sure to cut one piece of the outer fabric facing up and one with the fa outer fabric facing down, okay? And with the thumb here, right, this is a directional shape. That's right. That's okay? right. Now, our second pro tip is that you'll only want to cut one side at a time. Correct. That's only three layers, but remember one of those is that insulated batting and it's much thicker than cotton. All right, Erica, shall we cut some? Let's do, okay, so let's do the first layer. And we're okay. gonna do the first layer with the right side up. Okay. Remember, we're gonna have to do the next layer with the right side down. Let Great. me get you a mat. And we're gonna use our Go Big today, but you could use your Go or even your Studio Cutter with the appropriate adapter. All right, there you go. Thank you, ma'am. And here is one half of our oven mitt. There you go. Okay. And now this one we're going to put right side down. There we go. Okay, so make sure we're all covered up. Excellent. That's great. Okay, so, now here we've done the back. Here we've oh, done that. I have that. a thread, Erica. Do you want You've to just hand thread. me my scissors? I will. Scissors? I will. Here, um, I try not it. to really pull those because yeah. then it pulls the quilting. So here is what is I want to show everybody. Okay. There is a blade on the die right here. Yes. And that cuts, it separates the thumb from the body. So once you sew it together, you don't have to go back and even make that clip yourself. Is that not the super, best? Super, super slick. All right, we are ready to put right sides together and go ahead and sew them. Now, because it's kind of awkward and we've got a couple of 
You know, we're kind of going around some curves. I'm right. going to throw a couple pins on here. It wouldn't be sewing it wouldn't without be me. pins. It wouldn't be me without. Now, when I sewed, did this quilting, I just did kind of a diamond pattern. I did two inches across. I okay. did my first line with some painter's tape. Sure. And then I just did them two inches apart. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quarter inch seam allowance on this. Okay. And I suggest just doing a quick, you know, you may want to back up. Oh, do a, a little, little back stitch. Do a little back it. stitch when you first get started just yep. because you're going to be turning it right side out and it's going right. to help it stay all together. Okay. Think about it. So we did our standard quarter inch seam allowance. And now, now we're going to have the big reveal. Now we're going to have this. the big reveal. All right, I'm going to let you okay. start revealing that. And I'm going to grab a strip die because we're going to make some binding. Excellent. We're going to do just a standard two and a half inch strip for our binding around the bottom. Okay. So I just cut my strip at three inches. That way I've got just a quarter inch over on either side just to get a nice clean strip. Okay. And I've got this on when you're done turning. Okay, look at our little oven mitten. Look at how fun this little oven mitt this is. so fun. So pretty. Okay. So let's cut our two and a half oh, inch yes. binding See, strip here. I have work here. to do here. You have work to do. And I do like the stripe, Erica. I think that's going to create such a fun... It really does. And you know what I love about this fabric? They printed it so it looks like we made bias. We're going to fold it all down the middle, and I'm going to let Miss Pam have the iron in just a minute. Okay. Because we're going to fold it all down and press it all down, just press it right, wrong sides together, just like if we were making a quilt binding. Oh, okay, this whole okay. strip? The whole strip. Okay. And then cut off like five inches Okay. to be your little loop. Which is what you've already Which done Which is what here. I've already done. But you don't want that raw edge. So let me okay. show you what we're going to do here on this one. Okay. So for your loop, we're going to take this and we're going to press it in towards okay. that. So you're kind of like making bias yep. tape. And then we're going to go ahead, do the other. I'm going to let you get started. Okay, am I doing right sides together or wrong, wrong sides, sides together. together? Yep, wrong sides together. I love this color. So while you do that, I've got my little piece and I've got both of my edges turned in. So okay. I've got a finished edge and I'm just going to stitch this on the sewing machine. Okay, to so keep you don't it have together. any raw edges right. showing. Right, you just don't want your raw edges. And it's an oven mitt. It's got work to do in the kitchen and chances are it's going to get washed. Oh, So yes. we just want it to hold together really well. And if you want to, you can go ahead and do stitch across the end. You're not going to see that, but you can go ahead and stitch down the other side too so that both sides are matching. Sure. If you want to. And I can get all of my threads out of the way here. Perfect. All okay. right. So you're all pressed. I'm all pressed. I've got my little my little loop made. Okay. Like I said, I just sewed both of them. Oh, perfect. Okay, so. Okay, I'm going to give you this back. And thank we'll you. Put it we'll over get there. that out of the way because we're done with our ironing for now. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and start sewing it together. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take my loop and just fold it in half. Okay. And put it in here. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to, yes, I'm going to use a pin, I just a little were. pin. So now we're going to take our binding strip. We're not going to need all of this. And again, we don't want any raw edges, Correct. right? So let's just take this end and fold it inside. Oh, okay. Okay. And I'm just going to finger press that down. Okay. And we're just going to do this just like we were finishing a quilt. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to start it right over here with my binding. Okay. with my loop 
and I'm going to repin it so that they're all together. I'm going to get it started. Perfect. Then I'm just going to sew around, and it's a curve, but it's not a bad curve. You do not have to make the bias binding for this one. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and sew that on. Okay. Now to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to take this off so that I can slip it over Excellent. my sewing machine. So if anybody's ever wondered why. Now, are you going to wait a little bit here so that you can tuck that other side in? I'm going to just put it underneath. Oh, perfect. I'm just going to put it underneath. We're not going to okay. we're not going to get too fancy on this. Okay. And I am just going to overlap it a little bit. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and back stitch here. Okay. Right over the loop so that it's good and secure. Pull it off. And now I'm just going to go right here and just clip it off. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Now, all I need to do is, and you know I like hand finishing things. Yes. So I'm just going to turn it inside, take a couple of whip stitches here, finish it, turn it all to the inside, and I'm ready to go. That is super Isn't slick. Isn't that slick? I really, really like and that. And there we go. Yeah, this is just amazing. Isn't that fun? So we've gotten that all back stitch is all secure there. It's ready to go. Now I can totally see giving these gifts as like hostess yes, gifts yes. or showers gifts. Oh, we and have one over we here. Do. Take a look at this. Jill got so excited. She put one together too. So look at how fun look this is. Look at how fun. It has the whisk and the wooden spoon and some um, muffin mix. Yes. So what a great hostess gift. And look, she added our new little go mitten die. Isn't that cute? To the front of it. Oh, we, you can really get creative with the applique shapes for all seasons. I think we need one with a gnome. What do you think? Yes, I totally think we need one with a gnome. <laughs> you right. can just make dozens of looks with this one great project die. Because here at AccuQuilt, we're going to help you cut time so you can quilt more.